Hi students, today's topic of discussion is lithosphere. So what is lithosphere? The solid portion of the earth is called lithosphere. It comprises the rocks of the earth's crust and the thin layers of soil that contain nutrient element which sustain organisms. There are two main divisions of the earth's surface. The large land masses are called as the continent and the huge water bodies are called the ocean basins. So here we will be talking about continents. There are seven major continents. They are separated by large water bodies. These continents are Asia, Europe, Africa, North America, South America, Australia and Antarctica. Look at the map of the world and notice that the greater part of the land mass lies in the northern hemisphere. So now we will talk about individual continents. To start with we will start first with Asia. Asia is the largest continent. It covers about one third of the total land area of the earth. Asia lies in the eastern hemisphere. The Tropic of Cancer passes through Asia. Asia is separated from Europe by the Oral Mountains on the west. The combined land mass of Europe and Asia is called Eurasia, that is Europe plus Asia. So now we will talk about Europe. Europe is much smaller than Asia. Europe lies to the west of Asia. The Arctic Circle passes through Europe. Europe is bound by water bodies on three sides. Moving on to Africa, the next continent, that is Africa is the second largest continent after Asia. A large part of Africa lies in the Northern Hemisphere. It is the only continent through which the Tropic of Cancer, the Equator and the Tropic of Capricorn passes. The Equator runs almost through the middle of the continent. Africa is bound on all sides by oceans and seas. The world's longest river, the Nile, flows through Africa. The Sahara Desert, the world's largest hot desert, is located in Africa. North America. Okay, so the next continent which we'll talk about is North America. It is the third largest continent of the world. It is linked to South America by a very narrow strip of land called Isthmus of Panama. Okay, Isthmus of Panama. The continent lies completely in the northern and western hemisphere. North America is surrounded by three oceans. Moving on to South America. South America lies mostly in the southern hemisphere. South America is surrounded by two oceans on the east and the west. South America has the world's largest river, the Amazon. The Andes, world's longest mountain range, runs through its length from north to south. Okay, this was about South America. Moving on to Australia. Australia is the smallest continent that lies entirely in southern hemisphere. Australia is surrounded on all sides by the oceans and the seas. It is called an island continent. Okay because Australia is surrounded on all sides by oceans and seas, it is called an 
island continent moving on to antarctica it is completely in the southern hemisphere and it is a huge continent the south pole lies almost at the center of antarctica as antarctica is located in the south polar region it is completely covered with thick ice sheets there are no permanent human settlements many countries have research stations in antarctica india also have research stations there these are named as maitri and dakshin gangotri so this was about lithosphere and we have discussed in detail about continents hope you like the video we will meet in the next video very soon